you would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. I am your other choice. I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. You have me at a disadvantage. I am Girik, apprentice to Lord Rathari, and the death of you. I'm here to make sure the cartel doesn't become Rathari's pawn. I seek to relieve the cartel of the burden of Rathari's intrusions. You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Mana mana, you eda iki to kuluko charatrodo. Uda gunda tan kue gunda. Pan kuidak bamba. You talk big for someone so obviously small. Bona nai kacho, ne tuto boga. Then ruling Jiho la kuta slemo. Fine, I'll unburden us of this intruder, but then you'd better sign on the dotted line. Impossible! Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Your master will be as dead as you soon enough. The animal is about to be put down. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? You knew the risks of the job when you took it. And how to avoid them. Lord Rathari protects me now, and all of Barris's secrets will be his. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barris's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. I'm ready to kill you however you choose to engage me. You are every bit as infuriating as your master. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. Your men are going to be a little busy with my men. That's the signal, men! Let's go! See now, I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delacon posed to you and your master has died with him. It's clear to me now. Someday, you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. 
honor me with some small hand in it. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes. I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal, whenever you may seek to topple Barras. From here on, that is your only interest in the galaxy. You have siphoned all other ambition from me. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go? You had better be right. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. <sighs> Glad this is finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? Lord Barris will be expecting an update. Well, say hi to him for me. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut-eye. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladron Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, my spy on Balmora must be eliminated. Go now and be swift. Oh, come on, Six, throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will ya? Fine. Fine, stay clamped. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me. Nothing! Uh. What? Oh. All right, all right, I ain't proud. I give. My dad's an Imperial agent. What did you say? Your dad is a what? Yes. Please repeat that, Junior. Oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. He's going to need a new pair of pants. Who cares what Dermot needs? You gave me enough time to get what I need. Ugh. I have a very bad feeling about this. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest looks like. You're about to see what two squads of the Republic's deadest look like. Come on, men. Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. Zix? Zix? Come on, talk to me, Zix. Get up, man. Zix can't hear you. And getting up is a bit beyond his skill set right now. And I'm next, right? Please, please, I, I know why you're here. The, the Republic, the Republic's investigating my dad, and, and an agent's coming to put the screws to me. But I won't break. I promise. L let me live. My, my dad's secret is safe with me. I'm, I'm a rock. You'd crack the minute someone looked at you funny. I just heard you confess to Six. Yeah, but he's, he's dead now, so he, he can't tell anyone. My father's done so much for the Empire. Look, may, maybe the apple fell... Off the tree, I mean, kind of far from the tree, but it's still... Look, the apple's still... Look, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that, but... Please, please don't kill me. I'm willing to consider alternatives. Is there another solution? Hold on. Hold, yeah, 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 I, I just had a thought pop into my head. Just quick, before it pops out. My assignment here was in the medical lab. Moving supplies and, and making deliveries. And the docs there were working on something really cool. It, it was a drug that was supposed to create temporary amnesia, but it wiped the mind totally clean. The test subjects didn't even know their own names. So you want me to wipe your mind? Wow. You force users really can read thoughts. Yeah. Y you, you could break into the lab and, and bring back the drug. I I'll overdose and, and not know nothing no more. That way my dad's secret identity's safe. Tell me where to find this drug. The med lab's in the back building. The head doc kept a small supply of the drug in his footlocker. Oh, oh, wait, right here. I have a choice. And there was a time I almost shot myself in the foot. That was a close one. What else? Oh, you're back. I was just recalling my life, trying to remember the highlights since I'm about to have my memory wiped clean. I think I'm done. Not much to reflect on. So, did you get the drug? I'm actually looking forward to starting over. Try not to screw up your new life. At least if I do. Hopefully it'll be in new and more exciting ways. Here goes nothing, I guess. Ah! Uh, 
Who are you? Who I am is inconsequential. Who are you? I... I have no idea who I am. Do, do you know? Can you tell me? Don't let anyone tell you who you are. Goodbye. Oh, so... Well, so long, then. Thanks for stopping by. Wow. Too bad there isn't more of that drug. I got a few memories I could let go of. Should I take that personally, Vet? Of course not. I'll never be able to forget you. Let's move on, shall we? I must be honest. Your success at the Satellite Control Station and Republic Crater Outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Quinn, you know just what to say. I'm not too proud to acknowledge when I'm mistaken. Lord Barris is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. I hope you can see the smile on my face, Apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. That pleases me, Master. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. That is my specialty. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. A man is a hero. Pity he has to die. He has always known the risk. The Jedi Investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. Sounds like overkill to me. Your objection is noted. The order remains. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the Arms Factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. So? I excite you, do I? Well, what I meant was, when I imagine all the ways you will shape the galaxy, I get very excited. Yes. Admit it. You like me, don't you, Quinn? My lord, is this an appropriate time and place for such an inquiry? You're putting me in a, a very awkward position. Perhaps you're right, Lieutenant. Proceed. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the arms factory the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Rylon, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. Makes no difference to me. I'm hard-pressed not to agree. But there is one thing you should note. Specifically, Rylon's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. Sounds like you admire them, Lieutenant. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comlink. I'll answer if I feel like it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran arms factory is a smoking husk, my lord. <laughs>